Welcome back. The Light of the World Sculpture Garden at Thanksgiving Point opens this Saturday. Years in the planning, millions in donations, and now visitors will see 35 larger-than-life images of Jesus Christ in 50 different settings. Arts and religion specialist Carol Makita takes us there. The reason why I sculpted them was to strengthen faith in Christ. What began as a dream 14 years ago now covers two and a half acres, 35 larger than life sculptures in 15 scenes from the life of Jesus Christ make a powerful statement. From the time that I was a very little girl and I've always been deeply emotionally connected to the life of Jesus Christ. Angela Johnson and her team at Thanksgiving Point are surveying the nearly completed garden. She was a professional singer who ended that career in 1997 and was inspired, she says, to become an artist and then began creating this project in 2003. Being able to really show the way Jesus Christ interacts with people is also to be the mirror image of how he interacts with us. This week, workers are cleaning the statues and finishing the landscaping. Each step has been painstaking, beginning with molding the images in clay. And then each statue went through a multi-phase process. The artisans at Adonis Bronze in Alpine first made molds, then waxed every piece. The bronzing process includes intense heat, followed by a coating or patina. Normally, that could take months, but with a deadline of 2016, this project went into overdrive. We've just been hitting it hard and had two or three to finish a month. And that's what we've, we've tried to accomplish. We pretty much hit that goal. The statues are impressive, monumental in size, and needed equally striking scenes. The landscape architect walked me through the dynamic raising of Lazarus site. His job, create the atmosphere around the sculptures. That, too, required inspiration. And I can tell you with a surety uh, that I took that seriously. And, and when I approached it, um, I did have a prayer in my heart of how best to do this, because it will impact uh, everyone who comes through here. Look where the Savior is and the humility that he has and the love and interaction, again, between the two individuals. Light of the World Foundation CEO Mark Nelson says private donors have given between four and five million dollars to this project. The right people at the right time have stepped up and helped make this project happen through some very amazing, generous donations. Thanksgiving Point managers say all visitors are welcome, and they realize the garden may be more of a cultural experience to some. When my wife and I travel, we go to Buddhist temples and mosques and we go to cathedrals. Certainly Christians everywhere will recognize their savior and other people will recognize it as a beautiful artistic rendition of what a certain group of people believe. Over the years, as the small sculptures have been replaced by the larger, thousands of visitors have literally touched the images and expressed their gratitude to the artist. Melissa Stone's baby daughter died when she was hit by a cement truck. She first came to the garden when she was healing from her injuries. Knowing that that's where my daughter is and that she is surrounded by him and his love is so comforting to know that one day I will be able to be there too. Whatever I have given to this, it is coming back to me a hundredfold. As visitors to the sculpture garden make their way around the life of Christ and see the resurrected Savior, they then come down a path and see the final sculptures tucked away in a grove of trees. This final scene, Angela Johnson says, also came through inspiration. She understands that not all people believe as she does, but she says the opening of this garden is timely. So we all need Christ. We all have pain and struggles and trials and questions. The message of these larger-than-life sculptures goes beyond the simple power of the images. Whether you believe in Jesus Christ as the Savior or not, you can feel something different as you come here. And I hope, that's my deepest hope, is that people will come and really feel that impact. The artist and her creative team believe that each person who sees them will not forget the experience. Carol Makita, KSL 5 News, Thanksgiving Point.
Carol, thank you. The official opening ceremony takes place Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock at the Sculpture Garden. LDS Church Apostle, Apostle Elder Jeffrey R. Holland will be the keynote speaker.